Hello everybody, so in this video I want to talk about what I've eaten in Chiang Mai for a week in Thailand. So basically speaking, the first five days I think I ate no all raw days. But I did eat most, like for, I ate mostly raw, most of the days, but some days I ate a fair bit of cooked food. But it wasn't too heavy and I didn't really get tired because luckily I've gone over that hump. I don't like to stuff myself anymore. Um, but I ate like a lot of like um, mostly organic Japanese homemade homestead food at the Japanese Omrita Gardens place, which I recommend. It's been a little bit, a little bit expensive, but very nice and quiet. You get free water, nice shower, nice room. Um, but the food there is pretty good. Okay, so I tried a lot of because my partner's Japanese, so I ate a lot. Of, I tried the Japanese cuisine. It says it's organic, but I have a feeling it's probably not all organic. But that's, you just do your best. They said it's organic. And anyway, I, I ate sticky rice. Once or twice, or once, sticky rice is delicious. It's really, really nice, like sweet rice with mango and coconut milk on top. Oh, so good. <laughs> I also had um, had a fair bit of miso soup. Um, I love miso soup. I tried um, tempeh. I had a vegetarian, bur a vegan burger one time. Everything I eaten was vegan, actually, okay? So I had like um, a vegan burger. That was the heaviest, it made me feel tired. One day I had a, a chocolate cake. Oh, I thought it was homemade, but it was commercial. I felt really sick, to be honest, unfortunately. But I learned. And what else did I have? I had like some spicy noodles one time. But going to the fruits, guys. I also had a bit of like soy yogurt today, homemade soy yogurt. And I had some um, almond yogurt yesterday in the Blue Diamond Cafe, which I recommend. A lot of really good selection of food there. Blue Diamond Cafe also. I had some really delicious like pineapple juice, pomegranate juice, um, some orange juice in Koon Kei, that's really good, it's right beside um, Blue Diamond Cafe. Koon Kei juice bar, really good, a lot of like organic and non-organic also. But you just do your best, you know, there isn't a massive organic selection over here. And what else did I have? I had chempeda, that was, that, was the, that was almost the highlight of my food trip, almost. At least regarding raw and uh, fruity. Chempeda is amazing guys, it's unbelievable. I'll, I'll put up a picture here, okay, so good. So I had chempeda, it was like, it's like so tasty and sweet, so aromatherapy, like aromatic, whatever. And I had, oh, I had some durian, but the durian wasn't too good, because right now this video I'm in November, and the durian is like the end of the season, so it wasn't too good, it was pretty expensive to be honest. Mm. So, still okay, you know, but not, nothing to write home about. The mangoes are the, oh my god, mangoes are something to write home about. Really big, delicious mangoes. The Thai mangoes, is a Thai mango season. The mangoes are so good. Oh my god. And I had some lovely bananas. If you want to live cheap in Chiang Mai, bananas and papaya are so cheap, like really good. But I do hear that papayas are actually like GMO, so if you want to avoid that, go ahead. Um, but there is organic like papayas too, which are maybe even, they're very affordable too. You can get them if you have a little look. Um, that's what I'm getting now because I want to go off the GMO. I only had one, one or two GMO anyway, accidentally. What else have I been having? So we're at a Japanese restaurant over there at the moment, like a Japanese guest house and cafe. So yeah, overall the weather over here in Chiang Mai is amazing, like I love Thailand. Here's, here's some banana leaves right there, banana trees, you see. Yep, so... What else did I have? What else did I have? I think that's more or less it would have had. Generally, and then, and then like two, the, the last two days I had basically just all fruits, predominantly fruits. Today I had a tiny, just one miso soup, a tiny bowl of miso soup. So eating really lightly, filtering my filtering better, my health is getting better, and I'm just feeling pretty good. Massages are really good over here too, so pretty cheap, like nine euros for an hour, or like 300 baht for an hour, maybe eight, euro, eight euros for an hour, yeah. And you can even get like two hours I got for like, like 12 euros, actually 12 euros 50, I got two hours. That was really good. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you have a nice day. And um, thanks for watching and to your health, keep increasing your health. I've been increasing my health. And it's, yeah, every day, every, after I get a time massage, I feel like, you know, tired the next day. Cause they're heavy and they really move your lymph system. So the first, the next day after the first one, I felt really tired. And now after my second, now after getting my second one, the day after my second one, I'm tired today, but not like, not exhausted. So um, yeah, have a lovely day everyone. Thanks for watching and uh, befriend me on Facebook. You can see my link below, please, if you're interested. Um, and check in my Higher Self Herbs web shop and my awareness 
clarity and empowerment coaching and healing in the links below as well. Really good stuff below. You can learn more about me. And you can connect with me more. And for anyone interested, I'd love to connect. Thanks, everyone. Have a nice day. Hope you're well today. Bye. Get a good sleep. <laughs>